Now, to actually get the um, C4 to spawn in all these locations in seven different areas, you have to use this function. Let me see, let me turn this on. Okay, let's see where is it? Objectives. You have to select this one. Objectives, additional position. And then it's going to act you for the uh, objective index. Which is, to me, it's just, I just put the same number as the objective. The position index. Okay, so remember those extra numbers that will range from 1 through 7. That's what this is. That's what I put. And uh, the origin of where they're going to be spawning. Okay, so we need an, the objective number, an additional index number for that objective, and an origin. Okay, now it took me a long time to actually figure out how to work this with this because I'm still new at this. So, objective, additional position, the number of the objective, which was three, the which are um, yes, three up there. So. Then the index. Which we had uh, defined in the sec in the last in the last um parameter, which was either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever it was, according to the thread that we call it on, uh, whatever tree we call it on, and then so that will spawn in your map in the compass. It will show you seven additional spots to go to. You know, in the compass, it shows you a ring of where your objective is. Well, now you'll see seven of them. Okay. And I personally don't like seeing the ring too much. So I've changed the icon on it to the HUD icon C4. So I put objective icon, the number of the objective, and then in between quotes, I put the, I the, um, the material that we're using. And keep in mind that if you're gonna do that, you have to pre-catch it, and, and so you have to update your zone file with material HUD underscore icons, and in this case, it's C4. That's what I'm using. Then you have to also go to your script on the very top, and you have to pre-catch it. Pre-catch shader, same name HUD underscore icon underscore C4. Okay, so you have to. Um, do those two things additionally because you're using a different one okay so once so this this part right here which is defined our glowing model and our non glowing model this part right here just spawns our glowing model only spawns it this part right here places the first one places all the positions and all the glowing models on your compass to show so you know where to go and it tells you how far you're gonna be. This one changes the icon on the compass so it's not a glowing ring. And then, since, like I said before, this thread is being caught on the trigger, you know, self wait till trigger. So we're waiting till that trigger gets triggered, then we're gonna delete it because we don't want it there for any possible problems that could come out of it. And then we're gonna remove. Um, the icon from the compass once it's there and this is where it took me a while to get it I couldn't figure out why or how to get rid of it but I finally ran into it after studying the st stock scripts basically if you have an origin it will spawn on the compass so all you had to do was not give it an actual location so yes I wrote down an origin but if you pay, pay attention to the origin it says zero 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 where in the map does zero 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 exist it doesn't I mean in the actual 3d plane it doesn't it's infinite so at least that's my idea <laughs> but anyways this works a bit so we're basically calling the same objective with the same number in index but we're changing the origin to zero 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 on the XYZ, its origins are zero zero. Three. Then we delete the glowing model. So bam, goodbye, glowing model. We won't need you. And we spawn solid one using the same method as the glowing one. We spawn a script model into the origin 
same angle and then we just change the model to the non-glowing one and bam that's how we got it to remove off of the off of the um the compass this little baby right here. it took me a few days to figure that out okay and um so that's just to know when to spawn the glowing models when to place them on the compass and when to remove them off of the compass okay then as I mentioned each trigger has a flag okay so my objective is not really done until I have all those flags set from 1 to 7 so I put flag weight all and then since it can only hold 4 parameters put the first 4 as you can see C4 10 1 10 2 10 3 10 4 and then I recall it again 10 5 10 6 10 7 so once I would have all of these I uh, notify via script and uh, level notify start objective which in my game objectives will just say objective 3 state current done you know I could have just wrote that here but because I'm doing other stuff going on in the script and need to run other things I have this okay I could have just called it on the C4107 but what happens if the player just goes all the way to the last one plants that and triggers that then the script continues so no we actually have to wait for all seven flags okay so once that's done you know it will spawn all of all of them so keep in mind that these triggers are trigger use okay they have a hint strength of press parentheses and and one parentheses and to plant c4 so that's you know when you're near it it'll say press f to plant or whatever your use key and so that's the second one where we spawn three and four and they're quite apart so it's going to be quite walk um anywho with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and show you the video footage of what it, it will look like inside the actual gameplay once you play it.